My old studio used to be in a wood shop, kind of a warehouse with wood shop in the back. And I would get old pieces of wood and pieces that people didn't want anymore uh, to be able to use in my artwork. And this is one of those pieces. I really loved the look of it, just kind of the rough, um, kind of unkempt look. And I really wanted to do a piece like that I've seen um, on Pinterest and things other encaustic artists do wax inside kind of old wood pieces and like in squares or rectangles just in little chunks and not across the whole surface and I really wanted to try that with this and so this is an experiment I've never done this before and obviously you can see I'm using pretty rudimentary tools to try and get the uh, all the wood out where I need it to be out um, using I, I sawed uh, about uh, about a quarter of an inch down on those lines and then I'm just using a screwdriver to kind of dig out those pieces so yeah very very rudimentary and that knot took a little bit of, of extra time to kind of work it out but eventually I did it and now I get to fill it with wax I realized at this point that I needed uh, something to kind of keep the wax away from where, from, from the sides. So I decided I needed to kind of tape it off. I'm using, I'm using artist tape here. I think the artist tape would probably work better if it was a smooth surface. Um, but because it's kind of rough, you'll see a little bit later that there was some wax that got underneath and so I had to do a little bit of cleanup. So if any of you have suggestions on something I could use in, in uh, cases like this, rather than artist tape, um, like a tape or some kind of glue or something that would I could put down to, to uh, keep the wax away from the wood. Sometimes if I'm building up a lot of layers, I like to kind of go back and forth between clear and white. Um, mostly because I like the way the white and the clear kind of work together as it's, as it's fused. You get some little featherings of, of white and clear that kind of work together. I used a blowtorch there because pouring the wax on like that it makes a thicker layer and it's a lot harder to do that with the heat gun it takes a lot longer so I use my blowtorch then to to fuse a little bit deeper Now I'm brushing India ink onto this stamp. And this was actually um, when I first discovered that I could stamp into the wax um, using a cling stamp. I didn't realize until I did this, it was a complete accident, but that I could leave text impressions or stamped impressions um, instead of just uh, ink on the surface. And I was pretty happy about that discovery. And so you'll see in the pictures at the end, um, what those impressions look like. But removing the tape, you can see that there's a lot that kind of got under. Most of the wood was protected, so the tape was definitely worth putting down, but I'm having to do a lot of cleanup to try to um, make those lines clean.
So what I've done is I've gently fused that excess wax to try to get it to disappear into the wood. And it worked to a certain extent, but I'm having to add just a little bit of wax around the rest of the edge to kind of blend it in a little bit because where the wax um, leaked under the tape, it was showing up, it was making the wood darker as it soaked into the wood. So I'm trying to kind of spread out that look over all of the wood so it looks um, the same. Here I'm adding a little white wax to, again, try to, to blend it just a little bit more. And I'm really trying to be careful to just fuse on the wood because I, I don't want any of that wax to melt. And I'm pretty, pretty, pretty pleased that I was able to do it as well as I did. Fusing can be hard sometimes. I'm using just a little bit of gel medium on here. Um, the wax is very, very thin and most of the wood is still on the surface there um, where I'm adding this little phrase. So using gel medium to have it stick to the wood is, is perfectly fine. Of course, it's taking some maneuvering. I never quite get it right the first time. And that's, that's okay. And that's it. Uh, let me know what you think. Hopefully uh, it was kind of a fun experiment for you guys to, to see and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.